So I'm Claire, I'm a Yorkshire wedding photographer and I've just quit my job to go full time with wedding photography. I've only just started really, I only started in like 2020, so not the best time, some would argue, <laughs> to start a business, but I've changed my mindset recently and I really feel like now is the time to double down and go full time with my business. I felt like when I joined the Business Map course, my whole mindset changed. Like, I, I know everyone had talked about it in the Facebook group and, you know, in the course itself, it's a big part of it, like the mindset. And you go into it thinking like, yeah, my mindset's gonna change, but you don't really know how much it's actually gonna change your life. <laughs> and I was sort of at work and I work in a museum. It's a really, really beautiful, like stately home. So, uh, you know, nothing against it, but it's so boring. Like <laughs> it was taking up so much of my time. And I was stood there like two weeks ago, just like, what am I doing here? You know, in the course when we talk about low value tasks and high value tasks, I was like, this is a low, this is a low, low value task. Like <laughs> I'm getting paid minimum wage to stand here why am I doing that when I know I can make money, like way more money for my own business and for myself? Like this isn't an investment in me, is it? I was kind of holding on to it like this safety net. And I knew that I could make this money like on my own, but the fact that it's never like guaranteed was, was scary. And I think the abundance mindset shift is what made the difference for me because I was like, why am I chasing this like small amount of money every month that I know is gonna come in when I know I can make that myself and more in the month that I've quit, so this month, I've made the money I would have made in my other job six times over already. I just didn't believe it was possible. I was like, well, no, obviously that's not possible because it's me and how am I gonna make money? You know, you just, you tell yourself that and then you're like, why? Why didn't I do this earlier? When I said I was holding on to that other job, it's because it was like a security blanket for me. It was, you know, a safety net. And I, the way I view success is me being my own safety net. Like I want to be my own supporter. I don't want to have to rely on anyone else. It's going to sound so cliche, but like just believe in yourself. Like everyone around me has been telling me that for I don't know, like the past five years. <laughs> Just like, believe in yourself, you know you can do it. Like one day you will be a full-time photographer. If you're stuck in a part-time job and you're already earning money, like for your business, even if it's not a lot, like you can quit that job. If you quit that job and put all your time and effort into building your business, you're only gonna make that back. If you use that time differently and wisely and you invest in yourself, like you will see a return and it's just taking that leap, you know, because I know it's it's scary, <laughs> it's only two and a half years, but you will get there and you'll hand that notice in and oh, it feels so good, it feels so good. <laughs>